Well, good afternoon, friends. Uh, Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, if you would, <clears throat> those of you that are here live with me, uh, as long as you're able to hear, I kind of need you to do me a little thumbs up there. And make sure that uh, on the little live chat part there that we're that you're hearing everything okay. Uh, I assume somebody has joined in for this broadcast to catch it live. But then again, you never know. It might just be me here all by myself. At any rate, uh, so I'll go ahead and go ahead and, and, and talk about the situation right now. Uh, so let's see, you guys doing a thumbs up? Y'all able to hear okay? Can't hear, okay, that I was afraid of. Can't hear you. All right, now can you hear? All right, let's make sure we can hear. Everybody's saying what? What are y'all saying? Hi. Wait a minute, my wife won't stop texting and I'm getting all the text. All right, so you're hearing everything now, great. All right, so the first part of the video, once it goes public, nobody's gonna be able to hear, but that's all right, I haven't said anything as of yet. Uh, there's a lot of intel that I get, and a lot of times I'm just not sharing it here because we had so many issues with intel uh, last year that normally Patreon is where I share a lot of that information at. But sometimes I forget to share some of the things that are going on. But this one particular issue, um, I did not share as of, as of yet anywhere. I've known about it for, I don't know, gosh, week and a half, I guess. And uh, it's kind of like the situation with the uh, fuel shortage. Knew about it for quite some time. Didn't say anything. I think Yana had said it with her and Deborah Tavares. They were already speaking about that but I already got confirmation that that was gonna happen. It is manufactured, but that wasn't the issue. What I was told though, when this all was going on about the fuel shortage, is that the next big thing that they are planning is a cyber attack on the banking system. Yeah, I know that does not sound good, but that is what's coming next. Kind of like the situation with China next big military thing on the playing board. China's gonna take Malaysia, they're gonna take uh, uh, Taiwan, and they're gonna take Hong Kong. This whole thing that went on a little while, just, well, a few days ago, the power outages in Japan and in Taiwan, that was part of, uh, I don't know how you call that, uh, it, when I was getting the information on that, it's a war strategy where they're testing the water to see how people are going to react uh, when they're getting ready to do an invasion. And one of the things is, is to shut the power down. So they were testing with Taiwan to see how the Taiwanese people are going to, to react. That's why the power went out there. But again, though, the big issue, though, that was on the, uh, on the drawing board of the elite is a cyber attack on the banking system. All of this, by the way, is making way for the one world government. They don't call it a new world order with these guys. It's the one world government. And of course, there are some big issues on the, uh, on the board when it comes to uh, wars, battle zones, things like that. And as far as those type things, um, you can expect to see, like in the case of Israel, this is a staged event that's going on in Israel. I know that's terrible to even think that or even say it, but it's orchestrated. Everything happening in Israel is orchestrated. Uh, not that the military in Israel knows that, not that the IDF knows it, or you know, or a lot of the Hamas players, you know, the guys on the ground shooting the missiles into Israel. They just think it's okay. We have, uh, we have now been authorized to use force and use these rockets against Israeli citizens. That's what they're being told. IDF military, they just believe that they're defending their country against terrorists. That's the way they look at it. But in reality, the elite, people like Kissinger and Soros and all these guys, they have ordered these things to go forward. And they've also ordered certain uh, stand down areas so that they can maximize deaths in order to garner sympathy and also to be able to move this agenda forward. Uh, Iran also 
Iran is very much, very much involved uh, in what's going on. Uh, the Iranians are working with the West and with Israel, and they know that part of their job in the very near future is going to be to launch an attack on Israel. Normally we think of Iran as the big enemy of Israel. People never think about the fact that Rouhani is a Freemason and is actually working with the West, with Israel, to bring about a new world order. And part of their job is going to be to attack uh, Israel with a nuclear device right around the Tel Aviv Haifa area and that is what's going to kick off a global war uh, starting in the region out there out in the Middle East so these are some of the things that are going on I know I'm kind of it's kind of not to put together very well because I'm driving right now but it's just some things on my mind I want to make sure that I, I brought that back to your attention and I know there were some other things as well. I will say this. I know I mentioned to you guys Nimrod the other day. Uh, that is something that, that as well I don't normally speak about here on Israeli News Live on our YouTube channel. But just so that you are aware, this is the reason why we went to war with Iraq years ago. Hillary Clinton was there at the White House when George Bush Sr. was president. She was a major player behind this and bringing the body of Nimrod back. And of course, they have managed to put some type of spirit in that body. I know as crazy as that sounds, uh, they have had some type of success in bringing this body back to life. What's this all about? I have no clue. Is this going to be Israel's Messiah figure that they're going to use? Not sure. But it's some really strange things that are going on very strange things there is a video that I did though over on um, over on patreon that you guys might want to look at and that's the one I did I'll just say about Alaska I don't want to go into any more details than that Alaska and Antarctica uh, I think it's something you might find interesting anyway I'm Steve Benoon you're listening to Israeli News Live thank you for, for joining in with us here and I'll update you with some more things as I find out God bless you